REJOINERS have been brutally shamed after a leading expert claimed they are launching numerous attacks against the UK's post-Brexit trade deals as it reduces the chances of the country once again becoming a member of the European Union. Britain finally cut all ties with the European Union at the end of last year after agreeing on an 11th hour post-Brexit trade deal. Boris Johnson has continued to slap down gloomy forecasts from Remainers, insisting the country is already proving its worth outside of the Brussels trading bloc. Brexit Britain has struck numerous lucrative trading agreements with countries around the world since fully departing the EU, the most recent of these has been with Australia, with the UK's International Trade Secretary Liz Truss once again leading Brexit Britain through hugely successful trade talks with a close ally. Remainers who have been desperately campaigning for the UK to one day rejoin the EU are furious over the tariff-free, quota-free elements of the FTA with the Southern Hemisphere powerhouse, a former MP has suggested. Former MP Douglas Carswell, who co-founded the Vote Leave campaign and is a non-executive director of the UK's Department of International Trade, has brilliantly exposed the desperate plot from rejoiners. Writing for the Daily Telegraph, the president and CEO of the Mississippi Center for Public Policy, said, perhaps some of those that spent the week belittling the deal have a rather condescending view of our Australian cousins, the days when anyone in Britain could look down on down under a long gone. In the four decades we were stuck inside the EU, Australia leapfrogged us, with per capita income now almost 15% above ours. Others spent the week suggesting that this deal will ruin UK farming, with a flood of cheap Aussie food imports. This is despite the fact that the deal specifically imposes quotas on Australian beef, sugar and lamb imports for the next 15 years, nor can I recall such people complaining about agricultural imports from France. It sounds as if a lot of the opposition to this trade deal is confected. Indeed, I can't help but notice that many of those most outspokenly against the deal are Remainers fishing around for a reason to be against it. Why, having spent much of the referendum campaign telling us such trade deals could not be done, they don't like to be proved wrong.